so I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about a lot of characters that would really fit into the MCU or that I personally think would transfer to the MCU really well. By MCU I mean like the movies and the Disney Plus shows and stuff that would transfer to those projects really well without a whole lot of explanation of who they are or a whole lot of setup for who they are. Now for this I'm not going to do kind of the obvious ones like anybody from the main cast so no Daisy Johnson, no Coulson, no May, kind of just a lot of these side characters from over the years that I personally think would really 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 suit the movies and the Disney Plus shows and that if they ever make the jump it'd be really kind of easy to just bring them in. Um, but really quick before getting deeper into this video I just want to say if you can subscribe if you're not already so close to 1000 I think like seven away at this point which is insane so any subscribers at all really do help and hopefully push across that 1000 line which is the huge goal for me so if you could subscribe that would be a huge help. I think one of the major characters that everybody really wants to see in the MCU is Robbie Reyes's Ghost Rider and the weird thing about this is, is that there actually was supposed to be a TV show on Hulu based around Robbie Reyes's Ghost Rider played by Gabriel Luna. Uh, it didn't go ahead for quite a lot of reasons. The annoying thing is that this was announced the same time Hellstrom was announced, Hellstrom being the other Hulu Marvel show that got cancelled after one season. Hellstrom went ahead, a Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider show starring Gabriel Luna didn't even if it would have been obvious that Ghost Rider would have gotten cancelled after one season, I still kind of think that I would have liked to at least have seen that season, even if it meant it got cancelled pretty much straight away. Much more than Hellstrom anyway, because Hellstrom was a very middle-of-the-road Marvel show, I thought. Not even middle-of-the-road, I would say it's in the lower half of the shows. It was just very bland and uninteresting, but I think that a Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider show would have worked so well. If they want to do something like that on Disney+, Plus, it would be amazing. There's also some Easter eggs for Ghost Rider-related stuff in like the She-Hulk trailer and that, so there's a lot of really cool stuff out there. But I think that Robbie Reyes in general is just a character that would work really well. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. set him up to get a lot of the iconic things that he has in the comics. So you can just bring him in and just have him be the comic book version of it. And then kind of go, well if you want to see how he got this stuff, just watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Plus, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. already sets up that he's been an established Ghost Rider in the Marvel Universe for a little bit. And that he also goes off on adventures on, on his own quite a bit as well. Like he leaves the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the end of Season 4 and he goes off and he kind of does his own sort of thing. And I think that that gives loads of potential for just to say that he went off and he ended up meeting other Marvel heroes or other Marvel characters in other parts of the Marvel Universe. And you don't really have to explain much. You don't even really have to mention anything related to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You can just kind of leave it very vague and have it that, well... It is connected to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but you just don't need to mention that. Plus, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. gives us his origin. Like, not I'm not talking about just giving us the kind of stuff that makes him the iconic Ghost Rider, but we actually do get his origin of why he becomes Ghost Rider in flashbacks in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4. So I think that he would really easily transition to the movies or the Disney Plus shows if they wanted him to. Two other characters, and I'm saying two here because I feel like these two come as a pair. That is Bobby Morse and Lance Hunter. Now, I've been pretty vocal about... Bobby and Hunter leaving Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. as personally for me my least favorite thing the show has done like the biggest misstep for me that the show has ever had is letting these two characters go because they were supposed to get their own spin-off show Marvel's Most Wanted it didn't go ahead and the two characters uh, in real life they booked other projects very quickly uh, so like Adrian Plicky and Nick Blood they booked other projects very quickly so they never really came back Hunter came back for one episode Bobby never came back at all so I feel like they never should have tried to do that spin-off because then you could have kept Bobby and Hunter on the main show and you wouldn't have lost them at all. But I think that these are two characters that really easily would be able to make the jump. Now, what, what makes this even handier is that these two are comic book characters. Like, these aren't original characters from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Both of them come from the comics. And I know that there's, there was a load of kind of controversy over the fact that they sort of made Hawkeye's wife, Laura Barton, be Agent 19 or be Mockingbird. Which a lot of people came out and was like, okay, this is like one of the biggest things that has officially decanonized Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We now have a new Mockingbird in the MCU and it's not Adrian Palicki, it's not Bobby Morse. So obviously Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is just gone from the Earth 616 or whatever. That's not the case at all. Agent 19 is just a mantle. Like Mockingbird is just a mantle. This doesn't really explain away anything. I, I think that you could bring Bobby Morse in as maybe the successor to Laura Barton's Mockingbird or even have her in as somebody who trained under Laura Barton. Something like that would be really interesting and really cool. Like you don't again even need to explain who she is. Just bring her in say she worked with S.H.I.E.L.D. for a long time. She has connections to a lot of high up agents 
and just kind of to explain that she's been off the grid for a while and that she knows Laura very well, she knows Clint very well. I'm pretty sure at some point they even did explain that Bobby has met Clint and met Natasha at some point or the other, so that already kind of brings her into that sort of inner circle. So I think that'll be really easy. And Lance Hunter, again, you don't need to really explain who he is, just bring him in as this sort of morally ambiguous agent that works with Bobby, that's married to Bobby. Um, and you can do kind of a lot of really interesting things there. And they also just have a great dynamic, Bobby and Hunter. Like, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they are one of the best dynamics on the show, I think. And I, I think that losing that after... I think they were only in, like, 20 episodes total of the entire show. I think that losing that dynamic after that little of episodes is is pretty, pretty unfortunate. Like, there's so much they can still do. Another character that I think would work really well is Vijay Nadir. And I, really only the main reason I'm saying this is because Vijay Nadir is one of the very, very, very few loose threads left around in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. once it ended. Like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. did a great job at wrapping up so much of what they were doing, but Vijay Nadir is one of those few characters or those few plot lines that just never got wrapped up. If you don't remember who the character is, they were in early season four. They were the one that Senator Nadir, the anti-inhuman senator who was working with the Watchdogs, her brother was in this Terrigen Husk, and they brought Simmons in to kind of try and get him out of the Terrigen Husk, and he broke out of it and then he had the really cool survival in human skill where he just could react and adapt to kind of any sort of circumstance and we only actually saw him properly in one episode i think it was the episode right after mid-season maybe it was the episode after that i can't entirely imagine but it was around episode 10 or episode 11 of season 4 it might have even been episode 9 but he had really cool survival skills and then at the end of the episode he gets shot thrown out of a helicopter by his sister but when they, he falls into the water the terrigen kind of regrows around him like he grows back into a terrigen husk to kind of imply that he just can't die like his survival skills will keep him alive and that he's still down there and everybody was kind of expecting him to come back in a big way now they did utilize him briefly in the agents of hydra arc towards the end of the season in the framework but that wasn't the real vj nadir so the question really does beg what happened to him in the agents of shield universe that would be a pretty interesting video that i wouldn't mind doing i don't know if i could get much kind of content out of that but I think that he would be a really interesting character to bring into the Marvel main movies and Disney Plus shows just because he has such interesting powers. He never really got wrapped up. It it did it felt like they were building to him being a pretty big part of the the team or a big part of the kind of the Agents of Shield dynamic and they never really did anything with him. He also would make a really cool like Secret Warriors style character. I would really like to see him brought back because he was really interesting. Another one, and this one is probably the only one on this list that I could see a lot of people being like, I don't see how this would work. I would personally like to see Ada or Madame Hydra or Ophelia or whatever you want to call her brought back into the main Marvel stuff because I think that there's a lot of ways you can make this work you again you don't have to explain who she is you don't even have to go over the right of she's an LMD or something just bring her back because she was such an interesting character but if you wanted to kind of go the age of shield route you could just say that well being an LMD she was somehow able to save backup versions of herself onto something kind of like what Ultron did where he just kept saving backups of himself so you couldn't really destroy the main one until till much later on they could do that with Ada, where they just were like, oh my god, she put herself on tons of these backups, we thought we got rid of her completely, but no, she's still out there. I just think she would be a really interesting character. Now, I can understand people saying no, because honestly, she did have a really good wrap-up. I think she has one of the best character arcs in the show. Like, the way she goes from being a complete LMD robot to, at the end of the season, being somebody who finally is human and is finally able to feel all of these emotions but she can't handle the emotions and that just drives her insane, I think is a really good bookend on her storyline. So for that reason alone, I do think maybe don't bring her back because she has pretty solid ending, but I just, she was such an interesting character and she was so fun to watch that I just really would like to see them do something more with her. Another character, and this is one that, I've, that is similar along the lines of Vijay Nadir for me, is Daniel Souza, because I feel like Daniel Souza was one of the best additions to Season 7. I think most people agree that Souza is one of the best additions to Season 7. And he ended his storyline with Daisy, with Korra out in space. And I feel like you can't really bring Daisy back without addressing the Daniel... Like, if you're bringing Daisy back and you want Daisy to be the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. version of the character, you can't really bring her back without addressing what happened to Daniel or where he is. And he was just really great. Like, he was great on Agent Carter, but I think when he was brought onto Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he was ten times better than he was on Agent Carter. Uh, mainly because it's, he's an older character now, and he has a lot of experience that he didn't necessarily have during Agent Carter. But I think that it's unfortunate that they bring back this really cool character, and uh, just when he's getting really, really, really good, because I felt like he was getting better 
as the season went on and just as he's kind of reaching that peak of how good he is the show ends so I think that it's just kind of a waste of the character to not do something with him now it is kind of interesting that the actor who plays Dino Souza was also in Avengers one of the the police officers in New York when Captain America shows up and is giving out orders I don't know tie that in somehow maybe make him like Souza's ancestor or descendant or something I don't know be really interesting but I would love to see Sousa back again. Now this one is the only one on this list that has already kind of been rumored to be coming back anyway but that's Mike Peterson or Deathlock. Now the reason why I say him like not thinking about rumors or anything is because he again is a character that didn't get a whole lot to do. Like he came back I think three times or four times after season one it was like three episodes in season two and then one episode in season five I thought it was unfortunate that they brought him back as like being a big part of the the new iteration of shield in season five and then they just never used him again I like to think that he's just off on kind of like adventures or off on missions that the main shield team are constantly giving him like he's one of those agents that's just always out in the field and always doing stuff and never really back on the home base which that alone gives so much potential to bring him back and give him kind of adventures or give him kind of cool stuff. But he is sort of rumored to be in Armor Wars. Now, he would make sense to be in Armor Wars because he is basically a living weapon. But um, the reason why he's rumored is because the actor did actually post on Instagram at some point recently talking about how he's coming back for Armor Wars, I think he said. I can't remember exactly what it was. I probably should have looked it up before I started talking about this, but I do remember vaguely the actor saying something related to Armor Wars that he was involved in, which he would suit perfectly there, I feel like, but I would just love to see him back because he is a really cool character. Now, another duo, and again, it's because I feel like you kind of can't have one of these without the other, is Davis and Piper. Now, Davis and Piper, I'm putting them so low on the list because I kind of feel like I could go either way. I just think it would be cool to see them back, kind of like for us Agents of Shield fans, but honestly, they never did a crazy amount of interesting things with their characters on the show anyway. They were sort of just there a lot of the time. Davis got a little bit of development, but then he died, and then he came back as an LMD, and that was a whole thing. But I think that they are just kind of an interesting sort of two comedic relief characters you could have in the background of S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff. Like, they don't have to be the focus, really, of anything. You can just kind of have them there to play off of. I just think that would be kind of interesting. And the final character I have on this list is Flint. Flint being the Inhuman from the future with the rocks and all that that came back in Season 6 and then came back in Season 7 again. And just kind of like David and Piper, I could kind of go either way, but they didn't really utilize him much when he came back, so I would like to see them do more with the character. But are there any characters I didn't mention that you would love to see in the MCU main? Are there any characters on this list that you think it shouldn't be? Uh, let me know. And again, if you're not subscribed yet, please do so because we're so close. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, all of that. And I hope you have an amazing day.